Imagine this. It's 1977, Star Wars is in theaters, and humanity is about to launch its own real-life space adventure. We send Voyager 1, a robotic explorer, to visit Jupiter and Saturn, but with a grander purpose, to leave our solar system and drift among the stars. Think of it as a message in a bottle, cast into the cosmic ocean. Voyager 1 isn't just a machine, it's a vessel of humanity. Attached to its side is the Golden Record, a gold-plated disc with sounds and images from Earth, greeting in 55 languages, and the sounds of nature. It's a cosmic handshake, a hello from Earth to any intelligent life that might find it. The primary mission was scientific, to get a close-up look at Jupiter and Saturn, and study their moons and rings. On September 5, 1977, Voyager 1 lifted off from Cape Canaveral, following its twin, Voyager 2. The golden record made Voyager 1 more than a probe, it became our ambassador to the cosmos. The world watched as it began a journey that continues to this day. Voyager 1's story is about more than science, it's about hope, wonder, and the urge to reach beyond. The adventure had begun, and the universe was waiting. The genius behind Voyager's journey was the gravity assist, a cosmic billiards move. By using the gravity of planets like Jupiter, Voyager 1 could slingshot itself faster and farther, saving fuel and time. This rare planetary alignment only happens every 176 years, and NASA seized the opportunity. Voyager 1's first target, Jupiter. Its gravity flung the probe toward Saturn, giving it a massive speed boost. This maneuver was calculated with breathtaking precision. There was no room for error. The grand tour of the outer solar system became possible with 1970s technology, all thanks to this celestial choreography. While Voyager 1 visited Jupiter and Saturn, its twin, Voyager 2, would go on to Uranus and Neptune. The journey was long and lonely, crossing the asteroid belt and venturing into the unknown. Voyager 1 became our eyes and ears in the outer solar system, sending back a steady stream of data. It navigated a cosmic obstacle, course. Its antenna always pointed home. The stage was set for its first major encounter. Humanity was about to see the outer planets up close for the first time. The adventure was just beginning. In 1979, Voyager 1 arrived at Jupiter, and what it revealed was stunning. The Great Red Spot was a raging storm, not a static feature, and the planet's atmosphere was a swirling psychedelic sea. On Io, Voyager 1 captured the first images of active volcanoes beyond Earth, a game-changer for planetary science. After Jupiter, Voyager 1 sped to Saturn, arriving in 1980. Saturn's rings weren't just bands, they were thousands of ringlets, sculpted by tiny moons. Voyager 1 discovered new rings, new moons, and a dynamic, intricate system. The probe's close pass by Titan, Saturn's largest moon, revealed a thick, nitrogen-rich atmosphere, raising questions about the possibility of liquid and prebiotic chemistry. This trajectory flung Voyager 1 out of the plane of the solar system, ending its planetary tour. Its mission had transformed our view of the outer solar system, from distant points of light, into a vibrant, dynamic family of worlds. The images were breathtaking, works of art as much as science. Voyager 1 had rewritten the textbooks and inspired a new generation of explorers. But its greatest adventure was still ahead. With its primary mission complete, Voyager 1 set course for the unknown. It was now heading for the edge of the sun's reach. The journey into interstellar space was about to begin. Leaving Saturn behind, Voyager 1 began its trek toward the edge of our solar system, a boundary only theorized until then. The sun's influence creates a giant bubble called the heliosphere, filled with solar wind and magnetic fields. Beyond this bubble lies interstellar space, the vast unknown between the stars. For decades, Voyager 1 sailed through the heliosheath, the turbulent outer layer of the heliosphere. The sun shrank to a bright star behind it, and the spacecraft kept sending back data. Scientists watched for signs, a drop in solar particles, a surge in cosmic rays. The heliosheath turned out to be a frothy, chaotic region, not the calm zone we expected. Voyager 1 was our scout, reporting from the frontier. Its nuclear battery kept it alive, its signals taking hours to reach Earth. Generations of scientists waited for the moment Voyager 1 would break through the bubble. The crossing into interstellar space was near. In August 2012 it happened, Voyager 1's data changed dramatically, solar particles plummeted, cosmic rays spiked, 
the spacecraft had crossed the heliopause, the edge of the sun's influence, Voyager 1 became the first human-made object in interstellar space. A monumental achievement. It was our robotic ambassador, sailing the Milky Way. The data now told us about the galaxy itself, not just our solar system. Confirming the crossing wasn't easy. The magnetic field data was puzzling. The final proof came from a solar flare. When its shockwave reached Voyager 1, the plasma around it rang like a bell. The measured plasma density was 40 times higher than inside the heliosphere, exactly what was predicted for interstellar space. The evidence was undeniable. Voyager 1 was flying through the dust and gas of other long-dead stars. It had truly gone where no one had gone before. This was the dawn of the interstellar era. Voyager 1's journey had redefined what was possible. Humanity now had a presence in the space between the stars. The universe had opened a new frontier, and Voyager 1 was leading the way. One of Voyager 1's most profound discoveries in interstellar space is something you can almost hear, a persistent low-level hum. Its plasma wave system detected subtle oscillations in the interstellar plasma, like the universe humming a steady note. This hum revealed that interstellar space isn't as quiet as we thought, it's alive with activity. Occasionally, Voyager 1 detects dramatic plasma events, bursts of cosmic thunder caused by shockwaves from distant stars or our own sun. Voyager 1 acts like a cosmic microphone, letting us listen to the weather of interstellar space. For the first time, we have direct measurements of the galaxy's density and turbulence. It's the difference between looking at a picture of the ocean and actually feeling the waves. Voyager 1 has given us ears to hear the symphony of the cosmos. The universe is more dynamic and more musical than we ever imagined. Voyager 1 has thrown another curveball at scientists. The density of the interstellar medium is increasing as it travels farther. This wasn't predicted. Our models expected uniform density, but Voyager's data says otherwise. Theories abound. Maybe the sun's heliosphere compresses the interstellar medium, or perhaps Voyager is passing through a denser cloud. We don't know if this trend will continue, or if Voyager will emerge into a less dense region. This mystery highlights how little we know about our galactic neighborhood. Voyager 1 is our only direct probe of this environment, replacing theory with hard facts. Its findings are crucial for planning future interstellar missions. Will future probes face smooth sailing or a turbulent sea of plasma and dust? Voyager 1 is the pioneer, mapping uncharted territory for humanity's future. Every new puzzle it uncovers is a clue to our place in the galaxy. Voyager 1 is more than a scientific instrument. It's a symbol of human curiosity and our urge to explore. For over four decades, it's been our silent ambassador, carrying the golden record on a journey that will outlast us all. Its discoveries have changed our place in the universe. We are now inhabitants of a galaxy, not just a solar system. The cosmic hum, the mysterious density, the turbulent boundary, these are reminders that the universe is stranger and more wonderful than we imagine. Voyager. One's legacy is the foundation for future interstellar exploration. Its findings are shaping the next generation of missions, teaching us how to survive in the interstellar medium. As Voyager 1's power fades, its journey continues a lonely relic of a curious species from a small blue planet. Exploration is a long game, a multi-generational endeavor. Voyager 1 inspires us to keep asking questions, to keep reaching for the stars. The adventure is just beginning.